What's going on everybody, it's Hilo Souls here and welcome back to another video on the channel. I hope you guys are enjoying the Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer so far because this video is going to be talking about some flaws and some bugs that I found in the video while playing it. Now I know the game is literally just new, it just came out. I've been playing for two and a half hours but I've experienced some stuff that I think is just needs to be talked about in general. I'm not this big pro Call of Duty creator but I paid good money for the game, I pre-ordered it and I just feel like this should be talked about because it's my opinion. So with that being said, go ahead and smash that like button and then subscribe and turn on notifications down below and let's get into this video, shall we? As soon as I started the game, I went over to my operator section. As you can see, they were all locked. I couldn't use the Vault Editions or the pre-order skin for PlayStation users. Having Task 1 for 1 being locked to Vault Edition owners only is really stupid in my opinion. That's a bad call by whoever is in development over this, whether that be Infinity Wars decision or Activision decision. I don't know. But that is really ridiculous. I mean, it's pretty much a $30 skin pack or a $40 skin pack if you really think about it. Which is really ridiculous, honestly. Maybe if it would have been like something like, you know, unlock all of the operators before you can unlock Task 141. Like, these are the main people. These literally are, like, the the peeps to go for it. I don't understand. I mean, hope, hope for sure, they're going to probably come out with skins in the shop, and you'll unlock them there. But not being able to unlock them as a base, that's that's uh, on their fault. I restarted the app multiple times. I even restarted my console, and it just didn't give me my skin. And I don't know if it's coincidental or not, but when my game crashed, like, crashed on PlayStation or whatnot, my skins were there fine. I don't know if it was just time frame, but like I said, I restarted that multiple times. Maybe a fix around this is somehow to crash your game and see if that works. If it does it, I don't know, but hopefully everybody gets their skins because that's like I said, it's a forty dollar skin. Two more bugs or issues that I found out as well, and this involves the PlayStation players because I'm a PS5 player myself, and my friend was on the PS4 at the time. Basically, the PS4 is like watered down. Of course, you can expect that for a game to be like more optimized on next gen but if you're planning to get this game on ps4 just do know there will be more bugs and glitches because my friend was legit stuck in the loading screen or lobby forever while i was already loaded into a match and playing now i know like the ps5 loads faster but he was literally stuck it was bugged his game would freeze a lot more it would be a little bit more laggy at some times it could be internet issues but i'm just saying it out there to anybody who has it on ps4 the game is a little less optimized than it is on new gen. I'm, I'm sure that's probably for the same as Xbox player, Xbox One players as well, excuse me. And the next bug we encountered, I have it on my stream. I don't have a screenshot at the moment. But basically, we couldn't invite each other after playing for a bit. It would say something your account is not able to invite because of privacy settings being a child's account, even though we were literally playing together just fine. This seems to be just an unavoidable bug that goes away on its own. And the only work around this, if like if it doesn't go away, is to have a, another friend that's on a different console, whether that be Xbox or PC, invite both of you all, or both the PlayStation players to join them. And you could just play off of that, let your friend host it or whatnot. That seems to be the only work around at the moment. I don't know how long this glitch is going to be there or bug. Until then, let your crossplay friend be the host, hosting your guys' games. Now, this bug is on the PS4 and 5 version. It happened to me and him pretty much at the same time. So, yeah. Now we're going to talk about the camos here. We have four mastery camos this year. Gold and platinum returning, of course. And then polyamatic, which I'm assuming is like the Damascus from Modern Warfare 2019. And a newer one, which I it may be obsidian. I'm not too sure. It's called Orion. I don't know how that's going to work. If it's going to work like obsidian worked. Or like, I, I don't know. That's probably the new obsidian, so watch out for Orion. We have a lot of other camos as well. The camos seem like a bit tedious in a way. They look tedious, but in a way they seem easier. Like there's a lot of them. And basically from what I can tell so far, it's to get 50 kills on each and every whip to unlock a certain class of camos, if that makes sense. I'm sorry if I'm butchering this in any way. I don't know how to explain this any better. You guys, you guys have to just play the game yourself to understand what I'm saying. And it'll probably go up from each there. Like get 50 headshots on each whip to unlock the next set of camos. Get 50 long range kills maybe. But I don't know. I don't have all the guns unlocked yet. We'll see how the camo goes. I'm thinking it's going to be a bit easier than Modern Warfare 2019's. But that's just by looking at it. But it's going to be a grind. There's a lot of camo. So uh, yeah. Sorry Jeff. Now this last bit here is more opinion based than anything. It's what I see wrong with the game. And what's generally wrong with it so far. Remember I'm not going to give my full review on the game. Because it's literally been out 
like I said, not even two, three hours. I'm going to give it more time to play and just see if I can adjust to it. But one of the things I really dislike is the time to kill. It reminds me a lot of Vanguard's time to kill. For a slow-paced tactical game like this, I feel like the TTK should be brought down just a little bit. Not just fucking ADSing the whole game just to get a single kill. Shotgun and AR at close range. A shotgun should outbeat a fucking AR. It doesn't matter how many uh, if, if you shoot before me. If, if I pull off a shotgun and you shoot me like once or twice with an AR, you should be dead. It doesn't matter. You should be dead, right? That's just that's just what I think about it. Even at long range, too, an AR will kill you in two to three bullets on normal mode. Or an SMG. I just feel like they need to nerf some stuff, tweak some stuff. But like I said, it's literally launch day for Call of Duty. Well, next thing, I said it since the beta. I really, really want them to fix the fucking spawns. Now, this has been pissing me off because I don't want to see this game turning up like Vanguard being shitty. It's just the spawns are terrible, man. On, 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 like, you know, if it's on domination or hardpoint where you can, like, force a player or a team to spawn in one location but not capturing the flag or whatnot, I get that because that's in the past CODs, but even in Team Deathmatch, you will spawn in front of a fucking enemy. Even in Team Deathmatch. But why? This was an issue in the beta, and I'm, I know some people had to complain. You, it, it's... It's unbearable. If I play Team Deathmatch, I'm expecting a side A and a side B and the ability to spawn flip. Not be out in the middle of a fucking map and spawn in front of an enemy who literally just turned his head around a corner. Like, th that's the main problem with this game in my opinion. I can get used to the time to kill. It's just going to take me a bit because, you know, it's a newer COD, getting used to all the new mechanics and stuff. But the spawns are awful. Terrible. Rework it, Infinity Ward. Re-fucking work it. Don't make this game like Vanguard. Don't. Please. Jesus. And the last thing I want to mention here, this may be a very unpopular opinion, but this game has shit maps. Very shitty maps. I was expecting to have Terminal at launch. I was expecting to have a remaster from the original Modern Warfare 2 or any other Modern Warfare games, but no. We got all brand new maps that are shit. Each and every one of them are shit. I may like one or two or maybe even three out of the ten. You heard me right. Ten we got. And that's the um, the map I can think of off the top of my head that's actually enjoyable is the map that has the water in it. You know what I'm talking about. has like the left lane water, right lane water. You can go underneath and like flank to both sides of the map and flip it. But these maps are ridiculously bad for a, for a launch game. Like for, it's terrible. Come on, Infinity Ward. Like World War II apparently had the shittiest map launch. But at least most of those maps were enjoyable and had, were at least fun to play at launch. Like, Jesus Christ, and I can name off a few maps that have problems. The desert map, way too fucking bare. Way too bare. It just it initiates camping and then sitting in a house the whole fucking time. Because you go in a corner, boom, fucking sniper takes your head off. Go around another corner, oh, there's a dude sitting there in a the fucking window. Camping the whole game. It's just, it's stuff like this, man. It's the maps. It's the stuff like the maps and the spawns. It's like, it needs to be reworked bad. If Terminal was here... 24-7, I will be playing the shit out of that. That is fun. It's like they're missing opportunities here, man. It's like, come on. Another map I just thought of as well is the map with, like, too many fucking cars. Like, there's an abundance of cars. Like, that, that shit, no. No. You're overdoing yourself. Like, come on, man. So, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Nonetheless, maybe you agree on some points I said. Maybe you disagree. Hopefully, you can get around the bugs as well that are in the game. Like I said, it's launch. They're going to fix the bug. Yeah, I hope to make more videos like this. And I hope you guys enjoy videos like this. And until next time, peace.